Hello, everyone. Our topic is on emotion recognition and prediction. We are Ting Yao, Kazuya, and Rick. Nowadays, computers just are everywhere in our daily lives, but they don't know about our feelings in general. But if we can make them understand our emotions, many kinds of applications will be improved, like search, navigation system, or robot. Some people notice that it is really important, so they established a competition in emotion recognition task, which is AVAC. In this context, they make use of this cement data set. We also use it as our evaluation for our experiment setup. Um, it contains audio and visual recordings um, of dialogue between user and operator. Emotions are annotated continuously in real time, and of course it is done by human annotator. Um, we've noticed that people have been working on real-time emotion recognition for, long, uh, for a long while, but beyond that, we want to achieve um, better than them. We address these two challenges. The first one, can we predict the user emotion in the near future? If we can do this, machine can somehow change their behavior based on the uh, future predicted event. The second one is, can we predict user's emotion based on the information from operator? Um, it is called emotional contagion in psychology. If we can do this, machine can somehow hear the virtual operator can somehow control the emotion of user. So to achieve this task, we extract um, audio and video feature both. For audio feature extraction, we follow the convention from emotion recognition com um, community. We use pitch, energy, and spectrogram such kind of thing to describe the local dis the uh, local properties of audio, and calculate functional statistics. For video feature, we notice that, oh, of course, face is very important. So we calibrate the face first. Find, find out some facial landmarks, such as where's nose, where's your eyes. Also extract local binary patterns, which is a histogram-like feature. They are both um, famous and useful in the image recognition community. Based on the feature mentioned above, we use support vector regression as our modeling tool, conducting experiment and um, with these um, bunch of results illustrated in this graph. In this graph, the x-axis is delay time between the user, la user label and applied feature. And the y-axis, of course, is the, our performance metric, correlation coefficient. Um, the previous research indicates that there exists an annotation delay between the emotion event and the user notation. So beyond that, the delay time um, to five to 10, it is about future prediction of user emotion. So based on this result, basically we observe several things. First, our result be the baseline, competition baseline, which is 0.15 in correlation coefficient. Second, we can somehow predict the um, user, user emotion in near, in near future with reasonable performance, as you can see, with the delay time about 10 to uh, 6 to 10, the performance doesn't corrupt too much. And the last thing is that operator to user prediction is somehow worse, of course, worse than user to user. But it's not so bad. In some cases, we can, again, beat the user, user to user baseline. So we want to go beyond then the the performance from SVR, so we try more complicated model, which is deep learning. We try several things, multi-layer, perceptron, uh, long short-term memory, RNN, for, yeah, for temp modeling the temporal information, convolutional neural net to model the raw image itself directly. We also try several tricks, such as dropout, different techniques for um, stochastic gradient descent, and also pre-training with ad additional image data set. But uh, here is the performance we achieve. We conclude that deep learning systems still don't understand human emotion. So we give, give, uh, give you our short conclusion right here. First, we've shown the possibility to predict the user emotion in the future. The second one is operator's information is somehow useful for us to modeling user emotion. So here's our future work. Of course, we will try to improve deep learning technique we mentioned above. Also, we'll try to investigate how our agents should act in correlating with user information. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yes, we so, need to finish because otherwise then...